So when, when Gorilla Glass, when Dow Corning introduced Gorilla Glass, they could have applied it to devices aftermarket, but they didn't want to avoid any warranties. Mm -hmm. We don't want to avoid any warranties, so we're working with the manufacturer. So when, then when you get your next device, it will have the chemical um, insulator on the inside of the, of the component. So we don't want to avoid the warranty. We're working with the manufacturer. Yeah, so we have a, uh, so we actually apply so there's there's actually chips inside of uh, batteries too. Uh, 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 so we have uh, to apply the, the coating to the batteries as well, otherwise the battery would fail when it's submerged. Uh, so that's also part of the problem. So water creates a lot of problems for phones or any, any electronics. It's not only just trying to keep the water out, we say, water's gonna get inside. I'm oh, sorry, I took the battery out, so it's gonna have to restart. <laughs> okay. So, give that one a second. So, when we, we want the, the, the insulator, the chemical insulators have to be able to get inside, because water is inside there. So we actually have it on some of these as well, so we can apply it to any electronic. As you guys know, it's not having the problem isn't trying to run off the top, right? We want to be able to have this work if we submerge the whole thing. So we go, oh no, water, it went underwater. I mean, we can actually get the water to, it'll come out of the, there as well. If you look carefully, you can see some lines in some of these devices because their water gets inside. So we're trying to be able to keep the devices working even though it's totally submerged. It's one thing to have it run